Welcome. In this video, we are going to derive this expression among elastic constant y equal to 2 eta 1 plus sigma. So what is y here? y is actually Young's modulus. What is eta? Eta is modulus of rigidity. What is sigma? Sigma is actually Poisson ratio. It is modulus of rigidity, it is Poisson ratio, it is Young's modulus. To derive this relation, we will first consider a cube of unit length. That means there is a cube whose side is 1. That means each face will have square shape and the area of each face will be equal to 1 square that is 1. So it will be 1 here, 1 here and this is a cube. Now we will consider the three axes along the three edges of the cube. Take this x axis, y axis and z axis. We can name this cube as A, B, C, D and E, F, G, H. Now there are two faces which are perpendicular to x axis. There are two faces which are perpendicular to y axis and also there are two faces which are perpendicular to z axis. Now the faces which are perpendicular to x axis are A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Now we will apply force F along two faces outwards so that it is extensional stress. So we will apply F here outward on face A, B, C, D and another F in outward direction on E, F, G, H. So this will produce extensional stress and also we will apply two forces along y axis you can say the on the faces a b f e and c d g h but these two forces are inwards that is it is compressional stress you can say so there are two forces f and f so there are two extensional forces and two compressional forces extensional forces are applied along x axis and compressional force are applied on y axis there is no force applied on z axis so first we will find the effect of force applied on x axis for the force applied along x axis so it is an extensional force that means there is increase in length increase in length along x-axis. So there will be increase in the length along x-axis and there will be decrease in the length. There will be decrease in length along y-axis and z-axis. How much? So to find the amount of increase or decrease, we will start with the stress. What is stress? Stress is force per unit area. Force is F and the area is 1 square. That is 1. So it will be F. What is strain? Here the stress is normal stress. So the strain will be longitudinal. So longitudinal strain is change in length upon length. Now we are considering along x-axis and the change in length will be the increase in length you can say. Increase in length along 1. So increase in length. It will be equal to increase in length. So now this is normal stress. This is longitudinal strain. That means the ratio is Young's modulus. So Young's modulus is y equal to how much? This is stress or normal stress upon longitudinal strain. The stress here is f and the strain, longitudinal strain is actually the increase in length. So you can say the increase in length.
इज इक्वल टू एफ अपॉन वाई विच डायरेक्शन वी आर कंसिडरिंग वी आर कंसिडरिंग द इंक्रीज इन लेंथ अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस बिकॉज वी हैव अप्लाइड एन एक्सटेंशनल फोर्स अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस सो अलॉन्ग एक्स एक्सिस वी विल राइट दिस इक्वेशन एज इक्वेशन वन सो दिस इज इक्वेशन वन Now, this increase in length along x-axis, or you can say because of the force applied along x-axis, will cause the decrease in length along y-axis and z-axis. You can take the example: if we stretch a wire along its length, its diameter will decrease. So, how much will decrease? We will find with the ratio called Poisson ratio. So, Poisson ratio. It is actually the ratio of lateral strain. Upon linear strain. Now here, linear means along the length, and length we are considering along x-axis. You can say a strain along x-axis, or you can say this is the strain along y or z-axis. That is the perpendicular axis. Now the strain is equal to change in length upon length and upon length means length is 1 so strain will also be equal to change in length the change may be increase or decrease so strain along x axis may be written as increase in length increase in length because original length is 1 and the strain along y axis or z axis can be written as the change in length along y axis z axis and this change is actually decrease you can say decrease in length along y or z axis so it is poisson ratio what is increase in length along x axis the increase in length along x axis can be increase in length along x axis f upon y so you can say it is f upon y here it is sigma here and it is decrease in length along y or z axis so you can say decrease in length along y axis how much it will be equal to sigma f upon y it will be sigma f upon y and decrease in length along z axis that will be equal to sigma f upon y the same you can write this equation 2 and equation 3 here so we have obtained three equations along three axis so because of the extensional force applied along x axis there will be increase in the length along x axis how much f upon y and there will be decrease in the length along y axis sigma f upon y and there will be decrease in the length along z axis now for the force applied along y axis for the force applied along y axis now along y axis we have applied compressional force that means force in towards inside so there will be decrease in the length along y axis and increase along x and z axis you can say there will be decrease in the length along x y axis there will be there will be decrease in length along y axis and increase along x and z axis so there will be increase along x and z axis but how much the amount will be same the because of the extensional force along x axis the increase was f upon y along x axis so because of the compressional force along y axis there will be decrease in the length along y axis by same amount f upon y so decrease in the length so you can say decrease in length along y axis 
will be f upon y and increase in length along x axis and increase in length along z axis that will be same as we have calculated for the perpendicular axis or you can say lateral strain so decrease in the length along y axis decrease in the length along z axis was sigma f on y sigma f on y because it was extensional force now now that increase in length along x axis and z axis will also be sigma f upon y and sigma f upon y and you can say these are equation 4 equation 5 and equation 6 now what will we do we will apply all the forces simultaneously applying all forces there will be increase or decrease in the length due to individual forces we will write the combined effect you can say change in length along x axis so x axis is being told about this one there is increase in the length along equation 1 and about x axis there is equation 5 so you can say from equation 1 and equation 5 so from equation 1 and equation 5 from equation 1 there is an increase in the length that means it will be plus sign plus f upon y so f upon y and for equation 5 there will be increase in length also that means it will also have the plus sign that means sigma f upon y so it will be plus sigma f upon y by adding these two we get the f upon y 1 plus sigma now what is the change in length change in length along y axis the equations related to y axis are equation 2 that is y axis and equation Four, that is also y axis so from equation 2 and 4 from equation 2 and equation 4 so what is equation 2 equation 2 is actually the decrease in length that means this will have minus sign sigma f upon y so it will be minus sigma f upon y now what is equation 4 equation 4 is actually decrease in length that means it will also have the negative sign and it is f upon y so it is minus of f upon y so this will also equal to minus f upon y common 1 plus sigma what is the change in length along z axis and the equations related to z axis are equation 3 and equation 6 so from equation 3 and 6 so from equation 3 and 6 the change in length will be equal to how much the equation 3 is actually the decrease in length that means it will be minus sign minus sigma f upon y minus sigma f upon y and there will be degree increase in length that is sigma f upon y it will have plus sign so it will have plus sign plus sigma f upon y these two cancels out and it is zero so we will write these three equations as seven eight nine so it will be seven next equation is eight and this is 9 what does it mean there will be net increase in the length along x-axis there will be net increase in the length along y-axis and there will not be any change in length along z-axis so from equation 7 
it is actually the extensional strain so we can find the extensional strain extensional strain that is increase in length along that direction upon length increase in length upon length so extensional strain is actually how much this is increase in length the amount is f upon y 1 plus sigma so amount is f upon y 1 plus sigma upon 1 that will be equal to f upon y 1 plus sigma the magnitude of extensional strain will be this one what is compressional strain so compressional strain is the decrease in length upon length now what is the amount of decrease amount of decrease is the same minus sign indicates it is decrease so amount is same f upon y 1 plus sigma so it is f upon y 1 plus sigma upon 1 so it will be equal to f upon y 1 plus sigma now now we will make use of a theorem now theorem is to equal extensional or and compressional stress so first it is extensional stress along x-axis compressional stress that means two equal magnitude f and f applied perpendicularly one applied along x-axis another applied along y-axis that means this theorem can be applied because here there are two stress one extensional one compressional one applied along x-axis another applied along y-axis that means both are applied perpendicularly having equal magnitude so this is equivalent to a shear stress what is the magnitude of shear stress the magnitude of shear stress is equal to the extensional or compressional stress so we can write shear stress so shear stress is f so now you can say this is equation 10 and this is equation 11 so in equation 10 we have shear strain in equation 11 we have shear stress so what is modulus of rigidity eta equal to shear stress upon shear strain shear stress is f now and shear strain is 2f upon y 1 plus sigma f cancels out y can be taken to the numerator that means y upon 2 1 plus sigma so here it means you can write here so we will multiply this 2 1 plus sigma here so y is equal to 2 eta 1 plus sigma so this is the required expression we want to drive y here is the young's modulus eta is the modulus rigidity and sigma is the Poisson ratio. The PDF copy of the notes of this video can be found in the description below. Thank you.